Hey YouTube, Tom here from Cased in Glory Football Cards. Uh, it's been a while, guys, since I've done a YouTube video. I uh, just really haven't had the time as of late, but, uh, you know, have some tonight, uh, Monday night, just getting ready to watch the uh, New England Patriots and Houston Texans game. That's going to be a great game. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but I wanted to do a quick mail day recap of a few trades, uh, purchase I had on YouTube, and a couple uh, eBay pickups that I've gotten in over the past month or so. I uh, just wanted to share some of that stuff with you guys. Um, so the first package uh, being from Brad8671. Uh, a while ago, I had purchased a card from his quarterback PC. Uh, he was selling off some of it. Uh, so this is tribute to him. It just said, hey, Tom, thanks for the purchase. Hope you enjoyed the card. Take care, uh, Brad. And the card I bought from him uh, was actually my first auto of this player. It's a Ultimate Collection uh, Steve Young on-card autograph number to 25. Uh, Ultimate Achievement Signatures. Beautiful looking card. Came in the magnetic uh, on-card autograph. So that is my first Steve Young autograph. And this was from, if I can find the year on it, 2006 Ultimate Collection. So uh, Brad, thank you for getting that to me so quickly. I'm sorry it took so long for a mail day. Uh, but again, I appreciate you uh, being able to sell that to me. Uh, the next was a trade that I made with Jordan Richards. Uh, nothing huge. I picked up from him a uh, David Wilson Momentum jersey auto. Uh, that's at a $4.99. And I was actually at the Giants game this past weekend uh, against the Saints when David Wilson absolutely went off. Uh, I've been picking up a lot of his stuff uh, just being a Giants fan. I think he had a lot of potential coming out of college. And, uh, I mean, he's shown flashes all season. Uh, finally got his chance yesterday with Bradshaw being a little banged up. And, uh, man, is he explosive. So it's funny I got that in today. Thank you, Jordan, for that one. Uh, maybe I'll do a PC showcase in the near future of all the uh, David Wilson and Ruben Randall stuff I've been uh, trying to pick up. So got another addition to the, uh, the Willie PC, as I've been calling them. And then uh, this last uh, YouTube trade that I made was with Joe Sap 80 wrote me a little note here it said uh Tom thanks for the great trade hope you like the extras and I uh, hope to do some more in the future thanks Joe Pa 80 uh what are you write down there something Saints uh well Saints didn't do too good <laughs> uh but Joe thank you for the extras let me show you a couple extras he threw in um the first from the uh, Topps Chrome retail I uh, got a Reuben Randall jersey did not have that one. Uh, sent me another Ruben Randall jersey from Certified Rookie Materials. That's out of 299. Did not have that one either. Uh, thank you very much, Joe. And then sent me a very nice uh, from Topps Platinum, the Jumbo Patch Auto. Uh, this is out of 1001, but just a really nice card. I love the look of these Platinum cards. Uh, so those were just some extras he threw in, and I, I appreciate it very much. And then to get down to the uh, meat and potatoes of the trade, uh, I had traded him one of my, my bigger Adrian Peterson autos, whose guy's been unbelievable this year. Uh, but I got some nice stuff in return. I got three cards in the deal, actually. Uh, the first one being from 2000, 2011, Absolute Memorabilia, Stargazing. This one is numbered uh, 10 out of 15. Very low numbered. A three-color jumbo patch of the Red Rocket, Andy Dalton, which I've been uh, PCing him lately. Uh, really like him. Very good young quarterback for the Bengals. Um, that's just a beautiful card. Jumbo patch, a lot of stitching on there. Uh, so a sick card there with the, uh, the Andy Dalton was the first one. Uh, the second card uh, is my first autograph of this guy, and he's been having a fantastic year. Uh, with with his new rookie quarterback and this one is number 10 out of 10 for the uh, Indianapolis Colts who look like they are going to be playoff bound this season and that is from last year's gold standard a Reggie Wayne gold leaf stars jersey autograph 10 of 10 again my first Reggie Wayne autograph I do have quite a few rookie cards of this guy uh you know future hall of famer when he does retire very nice card there uh, so I was happy to get that one in. And then lastly, uh, one of my favorite players in the league. I'm trying to pick up his stuff wherever I can get it. Uh, if anyone has any for trade, I'd certainly be interested. 
Uh, but the last card was from 2012, Donruss Elite, the uh, Aspiration die cut, number to 49, of uh, Russell Wilson. And that is another beauty there. Uh, I believe that's my third Russell Wilson autograph. Um, another guy who looks like he's going to be playoff bound as a rookie quarterback with the Seahawks there out west. Uh, might actually be coming into MetLife to take on the Giants if we do make it. Uh, I wouldn't mind playing the Seahawks in the wild card round. But again, beautiful Russell Wilson there. Uh, so Joe, thank you very much for getting those cards to me so quickly. Um, I appreciate the extras again. Thank you very much. Uh, that was all my YouTube stuff that I've gotten in. Uh, just wanted to do a couple uh, quick eBay packages, some uh, recaps here. Got some really nice stuff in. And uh, I guess I'll just start from the beginning here. Uh, for my LaShawn McCoy PC, I got in a uh, Topps Chrome rookie auto of his from 2009. Uh, beautiful looking card, nice and sharp. Uh, looks to be perfectly centered, clean corners. So really nice uh, sharp card there uh, of McCoy. Um, came back this week. I know he was a little banged up. Uh, this next card, um, I had an auto of this guy. I ended up selling one, and then I picked this one back up. Uh, this is at a 99 from uh, this year's Donruss Elite. The uh, Elite Series case hit autos. I have a nice Doug Martin, again, at a 99. Really like the, uh, the look and design of these cards. Um, so that is my one Doug Martin auto for the moment that I have. But uh, again, really nice looking card. Uh, this next card, uh, I've had this guy on my fantasy team this season. Absolute touchdown machine. And uh, again, this one, very low numbered. I'll show you the back here. This is 9 out of 10 for the Houston Texans playing tonight. I'm hoping uh, Arian can advance me in the playoffs here. But I got a, uh, a Gold Leaf Stars jersey autograph from Gold Standard. That is just a beautiful card. Gold Standard. They look so nice, these cards. And uh, that's my second Arian Foster auto, but I, I, I love this card. Just a sick, sick card there. Uh, so again, excited about that one. And uh, then these last two, I had mentioned I um, I traded Joe Sapp, one of my Adrian Peterson autos. And I mean, the kind of year that this guy's been having, uh, it just makes you say, wow, because it is just unreal. He, he, he's on pace for 2,000 yards after coming off of reconstructive knee surgery. And the guy looks better than he was before the injury, which is just insane. But uh, I actually picked up two autographs of him. The first one being from 2007, Leaf Limited, the uh, base rookie Phenoms jersey autograph. And this is numbered to 99. Um, I mean, this is a beautiful looking card. I love the uh, 07 limited design there. Um, stinks that it's a sticker auto, but I mean, anytime you're getting an AP rookie auto, uh, you got to be excited about that. And I'll show you the number on the back there at a 99. So got, got rid of one AP, got another one back. Um, and then this last card, sticking with the uh, Adrian Peterson theme, I know. Um, from 2009 Exquisite. I really like this uh, endorsement set from, from the 09 Exquisite. And I actually was able to pick up the gold parallel out of 15 on-card autograph of AP there. And that's about as good as it gets in the card collecting world right there. Gold parallel on-card autograph from Exquisite, number 2 of 15, uh, Adrian Peterson. Probably going to be comeback player of the year. Uh, Right now, I see Peyton Manning getting league MVP, and if that happens, I would give the comeback player of the year to Adrian Peterson and just split that award up because they both deserve it. Um, so that is my recap, guys, from uh, YouTube trades and some mail days that I've gotten in over the past month. Hope you guys enjoyed that all, and hopefully I could do some more, uh, some more videos here in the future soon. Uh, but it's time for some Monday Night Football, so I'll talk to you guys all later.